Today's guest is someone I am very proud to call a friend. We first connected back in May of 2021. He showed me some music, I loved it, and he told me he was working on a project called It'll Be Fine. Fast forward to, fast forward to today, and It'll Be Fine has been streamed well over 60 million times on Spotify. The follow-up project, It's Not You, It's Me, It's Love, is well on its way to surpassing it, and he is currently on a tour of North America and Europe. Che Shakur, how are you? Gucci, man. Thank you for having me. Gucci, man. I love that because you're from Atlanta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the show is called Past, Present, Future. I always like to remind myself of that. It's about your story. So let's just begin at the beginning. Where does Chase Shakur's story begin? Um, it's Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, like my music career, right? Pardon me? Like music? No, you. Oh. We, we want to know about okay. you. Well... It's a lot of layers to it, but uh, born in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I grew up with a house full of women, majority. Um, and uh, I got an interest in music 2016, 2015, and um, started off rapping and then transitioned to singing 2018. And um, yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of history, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, um, yeah. During our one of our first conversations, you know, Instagram DMs, uh, we were talking, and uh, you mentioned that you were you were rapping, and you know, you mentioned not being in love with your rapping voice, um, and you told me that there was a few artists that you heard that made you want to dive deeper into the singing. The artists that you mentioned to me were Jodeci, mm -hmm. Party Next Door and Sampha. So, I got you a little gift. Oh, shit. Got you a couple of records. <laughs> Yo, that's a lot. Sampha. Oh, shit. And got hey, you <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Yo, let me see. These are yours, man. You don't even got to see them. They're yours. <laughs> Yo, Roos, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys love <laughs> colors? Yeah. Man, so, I, I just wanted to ask Thank you, like, you. no problem. Thank no you. problem. I wanted to ask you, like, what about, I know that Jodeci, Jodeci is not here, but what about Party Next Door? What about Sanfa? What about Jodeci made you say, I want to deepen this connection that I have to singing? Um, Really, they just made it look cool to me. Um, they were the first people that I thought made it look not corny. Like, I didn't <laughs> have to, like, take my shirt off in the rain to, like, be R&B. Yeah. I could be myself. Yeah, that that trap soul yeah. energy, like which you exude from the style down to the voice. Yeah, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. I, you know, coming from being in Canada where we are right now, um, being born and raised in part, being born and raised in Canada, party next door was huge for for me. I know for I pretty much for everybody. Just a guy from our, I want to say neighborhood, even though we're not yeah. from the same city, from our ends who's just doing this and doing it in such a unique and, and new way. But going to Atlanta, though, that's a place with such a rich, you know, history of, of artists um, and a rich rap history. So you, you said you were a rapper. Did you, you know, ever participate in any ciphers back in the day? Yeah, I was, um, I did this thing called Soul Food Ciphers. Um, Soul Food Ciphers. Yeah. Okay. It was like a basement, underground, like uh, camera up type cipher. You know what I'm saying? So like they had a camera up and like it would happen every Sunday and like you practice your raps and you uh, go down there and freestyle, you know, every Sunday. What, um, was this like after church type of thing? Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like a nighttime type of thing. Were you a church kid? Uh, I was in choir when I was a kid, but like- Oh, not, okay. Yeah. Is um did you like being in the choir? Is that is that where this where some of these things started for you? When I was a kid, nah. Um, cause when I was a kid, I liked to draw more than like sing. Um, so I was worried about like the artist type thing. So it shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like an artist, man. Yeah, yeah. That's that's really cool. So soul food cipher. Any interesting um rap battles that you remember? Um. Hmm. I just remember me being nervous, like every like Sunday, because they had rappers from all ages. So it'd be rappers that are like way more experienced 
Like if you would go out there, like your bars had to like stand out because the next person would be like spin some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Um, any any rappers that I would know? Uh no, I don't think so. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's I a wish. lot of, there's a lot of rappers in Atlanta. Yeah. Is there a lot of singers? Not really. Hmm. All right, well, well, well kind of now. Kind of now. That's all right. Maybe maybe we'll touch on that later later in the co in the conversation, but I feel yeah. like that's more of like a what's going on right now type of deal. Yeah. How is everything going? Like right now, how do you feel? You know, this is your first time in Toronto? Yeah, this is my first time. What do you think of it? I fuck with it. I like the views. It's mad cold out here. But that's <laughs> expected. So you gave it a good time. <laughs> yeah. it, it gets a lot colder. If you guys came with this. Yeah, I know this light. This is light compared to like how winters could be in Toronto. So definitely. Yeah. yeah it's it, this is like a cool time where it's we call it sweater weather. You guys got sweater weather over there. Yeah. There's yeah. not there's no snow, but it's like a coldness where like you can feel it in your bones a lot of the time, although tonight's a real mild night. But I digress. So what what kind of music was played in, in Shaysh's house with with all these women around? I imagine it's a lot of R and B. Yeah, it was a lot of R and B. Um and a lot of rappers that was like diving into like the R and B. They made music for ladies. Mm -hmm. Um so like my auntie would play like Heavy D, you know, LL Cool J. Uh my mom would play my mom had a real or has a real diverse taste. So like she'll play like reggae. She'll play like classical music, gospel, R and B, and my grandmother, um, she plays like Aretha Franklin and stuff like that. And uh, my two uncles would play like Gucci Man or like, you know, artists around the city, type thing. So, so you got like a really wide range of influences right there. Yeah. Is your mom Jamaican? You said you played. She played reggae. Oh nah, she liked it though. Oh she okay. Liked it, yeah. Cause you're part Jamaican, right? Uh yeah, like my um my grandpa is Jamaican. Okay, I love yeah. that. Yo, there's a lot of Jamaican. I'm Jamaican, a lot of Jamaicans out there. I, I don't know, I brought you some I can some salt fish or something. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, so you went to Georgia State University, right? Mm-hmm. So what was that like? What was your experience like at Georgia State? I was half the time I didn't want to be there, but it was good <laughs> at the same time. Um, yeah. You're an orientation leader. Yeah, I was an orientation leader. I um I worked at the bookstore too. Um it was good connecting with like, you know, my peers and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. like I had classes I liked, but like I didn't really didn't really want to be there half the time. What did you study? Music, music theory. Oh, you studied music theory? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you play instruments? Nah, I'm learning. Oh, I'm that's learning cool. guitar. But wow, um, so um let's get into that. Like what part of Music theory in which way? Like, were you re learning to read sheet music? Were you learning? Oh, so I went to school to be like an audio engineer oh, um, okay. originally, but I had to go to like a program uh, in school. I had to get like prerequisites, but um, <clears throat> yeah, my last year of college, last year, they were teaching me how to do like the piano. That's um, amazing. Yeah. That, that's that suits you. Like you have a lot of songs where it's stripped down with just the piano, just the guitar. So that that really suits you. Shout out my boy Dan. Pardon me? I said shout out my boy Dan. Dan, that, that's Dan the piano the teacher? Yeah. Hey, I love that. I love <laughs> yeah. that. Um, so why did you decide to to drop out? Um for real, it was like we were going viral. Like I had music that was like it was doing numbers. I knew that if I like focused in on it, like um, that it would work out, you know. And I had a conversation with my dad, and like you know, he dropped out and stuff. And um, what did he say? He was just like, "Yo, like you know, that's what you." Want. It was really simple. Like it was funny. I was doing homework, and like I think I called him or he called me, and he was like. Um, you don't really want to be in school though. Like you don't really want to be in school. I was like, yeah, so you know what I'm saying. So it was like, just don't go to school, you know. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> like, that's yeah, a lot like yeah, like yeah. Most conversations, yeah, go and like <laughs> yeah. But what threw me off is that um, he wasn't like super advocate for me to go for me to go to school. Um, 
were you nervous going into this conversation? Like, did you know he was going to say this to you? Like, were you nervous for to like talk to your dad about dropping out? Were you like, shit, man? Oh, nah. I wasn't nervous. Um, Cause I know a lot of a lot of a lot of kids. I was nervous to tell my mom. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause we was going to school together. Okay, yeah. okay. So what did your mom say if you want to talk about that when you told her, "Hey, this is my last day." <laughs> I don't even think I I verbally told her. I think she just kind of like found out. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just stopped so, going. So she's just like, Chase, you've been behind the boards at home a lot this week. Aren't Not even that. She just seemed like. She just seen I started working like nighttime shifts. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, I know you're not in school. I'm like, yeah, not in school. And was she like, was she mad or was she just like, okay? She was she was definitely mad. She was pissed at first. And then she was like, okay, I get at, it. At which point did she or your mom stop being mad about this? Like, what was that that moment where she's like, okay, you made the right decision? Um, it was when I got offered to go to New York. Um, for like uh, label meetings. Well, um, cause she was like, "You going where?" So it threw her off. But then that's when she like found out. Like it was real. Cause I think during that time, I was going back and forth from New York to LA, like pretty often. Like just having meetings, and she see that, and she'd be like, "You leaving again?" Oh, this is real. Okay, like you know. Well, yeah, yeah I remember seeing that. On Instagram at the time, Instagram stories. See this guy. Guy chases in New York. Okay, he's in Los Angeles. Okay, I see him at this yeah. label behind this sign. I see him there. And <laughs> I was like, okay, this guy is moving. So yeah, that, that's that's super amazing for your mom to just be like, all of these things that you're telling her is, are going to come to fruition or actually like moving and shaking and coming. But but let's let's backtrack a little bit. You, you mentioned she saw she saw you were working a lot of night shifts. Mm. From my research, I, I, I've seen you, you have been quite a worker. You've done a lot of jobs. Yeah. Let me just run off a few of them that I've, I've heard you mention online. You were orientation leader, which we already mentioned. You, were, you sold internet at AT&T. You were a security guard. Uh, you worked factory jobs. I don't know which factory jobs. Did you work FedEx as well? FedEx and UPS. Okay, because I remember when we first spoke, <laughs> you mentioned like that you were doing the FedEx thing. So that's when like- When I first met you, I was- I was uh, doing security. You were in security at the yeah, time. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so like, man, I, that brings like so many questions to my mind before I get to like my ultimate question there. Like <laughs> working all of these jobs, like how did you work on It'll Be Fine? Like was, it was a lot of like late nights in the studio? Uh, yeah, I just would get the time in whenever I could get it in. Um, like most of it was like, or a big chunk of it was when I was like working at Amazon and like um, my shift would be like from like four to like, four to like two or something. Like 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. 2 a.m., yeah. And like sometimes I like drive home, I stayed like an hour away from the spot. Um, so I just come home, record like a demo and then like, mm -hmm. it was really whenever I could get it in. Whenever you could get it in, just mm -hmm. fit it in, just like knowing this is what I gotta do. I gotta get it by any type of yeah. any means and any time I got, that's what that's what it's going yeah. towards. I didn't even tell people I had a job. Like, why not? Cause I think it's like law of attraction. So like if I tell you or if you ask me like what I do, mm -hmm. um, and I say I'm an artist, you know, it, it hits different, you know what I'm saying? If I say that as opposed to like, yo, I work at AT and T and it's like Yeah. Yeah. That's that's really amazing. So law of attraction is really big for you. Mm. What what things have you manifested in your life? Um, everything, like for real. Like I'm big on praying, um, and God. Um, so really everything, like I manifested or I prayed for. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's slowly coming. And um, when you decided to to drop out of school, was that the well, that obviously wasn't the same moment that you decided to stop working all these jobs. What was that moment that you said, you know, you said to yourself, okay, Chase, it's time to stop working these jobs. And what was the last job you worked? Uh, it was J. Crew. J. Crew. Mm -hmm. so that's like a clothing store. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if we got that here in Canada. Yeah, it's kind of scarce, it's I think. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a gap or something like that. Kind of, yeah. 
<laughs> this like guy. with boat shoes and stuff. This like guy that. working at J Crew is crazy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Do you have a picture of you working at J Crew? Ah, uh, can we can, can you send it to us? We can circulate that on the internet. Post, post it right in. This. I ain't take no pictures at work. I mean, I took one picture, but that was like a date type thing. Like, okay. See where I'll come from like a year from now. Oh, that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Well, when are you gonna post that picture? Or if you have you posted it already to I already posted it. Oh yeah, okay. I gotta yeah. have to go. We're gonna have to skim through your your, your post. I, gotta, I might have to repost it. I think the anniversary just passed not too long ago. Send that to me, man. We'll insert it right into this pod, like right here on this couch. You're gonna wow, see Chase. Nah, that's gonna see my side by side right here. That's just gonna be me in the back of a truck with my nose running. <laughs> It was cool. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's beautiful. Now, you, now you're you're in a, a loft in Toronto. Your nose is not cold, but it's going to be cold when you step outside of this building yeah, in like 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, so you mentioned, you know, you're you're working all these jobs. You're working security. You're finishing at 2 a.m. And you're going to the studio. So we'll work on It'll Be Fine. On It'll Be Fine. Um, and on the, on the, on the follow-up projects, uh, like a real, I don't want to call it a state essential theme, but you mentioned it twice, car accident. Mm. Did that actually happen? Um, the car accident? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it happened, well, I got into two. Um, I crashed my Honda Civic, um, I think right before I went to LA, like, I think like two days before wow. I went to LA. And then I crashed it, or I crashed my other car. I'm not. I'm not a bad driver. Also, I'm not a bad driver. I know. No, just things happen. These weren't sometimes. my fault. You know what I'm saying? But um, oh, they were your fault. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, good. Um, and then the other one was when I was working at AT and T. And then yeah. So um, can you bring us through how these car accidents happen? Or you know what? This is not Vlad TV. We don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vlad TV is crazy. Yo. That's funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, shout out to Vlad, because I mean he helped, you know, get the ball rolling on Tupac's thing. <laughs> we, but I mean, basically, though, it was an old head for the first one. It was a what sir? He was old. It was old. It was old. Okay, okay. It was an old yeah. guy. Yeah. And he couldn't, you know, he couldn't drive. I see why they being revoking license, you know what I mean? Mm. Um and then uh, the other one, bro, I just ran the light when I was turning back. Were the accidents bad? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I got my, my body skate, so. Yeah, but it wasn't just, too crazy, but. I could imagine, like, just about to go to LA for a label meeting. Yeah. And you crashed the car. Yeah. Shit, what's, what's going on? I was freaking out. Yeah. But then I was like, I don't even got to pay for this shit. <laughs> I ain't got to pay for things, it for real. You're, just, you're not even worried about like... I was like, what my, am I going to do? Your life could have ended right then yeah. and there. You could have met a piece of medical to slash across your vocal cords. And, and that could have just... Crazy. It could have happened. <laughs> yeah, it could have happened. Yeah, anything, it could have happened where, you, happen. you know, the Glad worst, the, the, any spectrum on the worst could have happened. And like, that could have prevented you from going to LA. And yeah. Like, like, that's crazy. That's God, you know? So, man. How did it take you a long time to overcome like the trauma that I, f I assume that caused? Or did, uh, did you pour that into the project and then that, that pain was felt? It was like, I mean, I was working on Tunnel Vision. So um, when I figured out my business with the car and everything like that, I wasn't really like tripping off of it. Um, I know. The the second time I got fired because I didn't have no way to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I met my I met my boy Dan through it, so it was a blessing. So I don't really um I don't really I didn't think too heavy on the car accidents because I knew it was gonna be straight. Is Dan the keyboardist or the or the DJ engineer? Um Roos is my DJ engineer and Dan is one of my main producers. Uh and he does the keys. Well, Another everything piece. happens for a reason, and now he's here on on tour with you. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not tripping, man. Wow. So let's keep it going. Th let's keep it going through your story. Um, on sink or swim, you had some lyrics there. Um, you said, "Damn, I've been solo with it. 
uh, this new life hit different. What's this new life like? How, you, how, you, how do you feel about this life you're living now? And what are those differences between now and between then? Um, things are just different. Like I'm able to, like, I still got a lot to, I still have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just don't work a job. Um, and I'm, I'm making music freely, you know what I'm saying? So um, I still have a lot of work to do. I'm nowhere near where I need to be, where I want to be, you know, but everything is a blessing. And I thank God for it every day, you know. You're focused. Yeah. Good. You, you're gonna need it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of things that could distract you, mm -hmm. you know, being out here and just things bubbling, things moving. You got all this motion. Yeah. yeah. Man, I love to hear that. And I know everybody loves to hear that. Thank you. So, How's how's tour been? Tour's been good. Uh, a lot of sold out shows. Like, hey. so we did what our clap it up for Chase, y'all. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. <laughs> hey. Sold out tour, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. So sold out tour. Yes, You're North American, Europe. Yeah. Now, how you feeling about that? That what that sounds like a dream come true to me. Mm -hmm. You dream yeah. from you dream about moments like this. Yeah. Wow. It's a blessing. Um, yeah, tour's been good. We did our fourth sold out show. Um, I think tomorrow's like the fifth. Um, but yeah, everything's a blessing. Like I really pray for things like this. And man, I'm I'm I I'm, appreciate it. I'm genuinely proud of you. Like I just I think when we first connected, you might have had like less than a thousand monthly listeners. Like, mm -hmm. And then to see where you are now. And just to see how like your confidence has risen and like how you you've risen you've grown as a performer and how you know Thank just you. everything is just moving up and forward. It's super as just an onlooker, it's I'm I'm really happy to see it all. Thank you. No problem, man. I, I'm proud of you too, now. I'm proud God, of you too. Man, I appreciate that. But we this, can't, hey, we came from the bottom together, you know what I'm saying? So. That's love, man. I would dap you up, but I'm gonna mess up this mic right now. <laughs> 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 Yo, man. So you're on tour. You got you're, you're going across North America. You're in Toronto right now. You're going to Montreal in a couple of days. Um, where have you? Where else? Where? What other tour spots have you guys hit so far? Uh, Houston, DC, uh, New York, Boston. We just came from Boston today. Um, and yeah, a lot of I don't remember all of them, but. <laughs> Yes, a lot of cities, a lot of dates, um, and we really excited about um, just showing our art for real. How, what's been your favorite tour spot thus far? Um, us selling out SOBs was pretty. It was pretty crazy. Where's SOBs? In New York. That's amazing. Yeah, New York was crazy. Um, wow. Any any crazy moments at SOBs? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? If he didn't laugh, bro, I wouldn't have said nothing. But you so hey, at the end of the show, your your, your buddies, <laughs> your buddies spilled the beans at already. At the end of the show, um, yeah, it was like the very end. Uh, <laughs> it was the very end of the show, and um, it was the best show like on a tour so far. Um, but I didn't know that. I, I couldn't hear everybody saying the words. So I'm thinking like, all right, well, whatever. So I hear the crowd though, finally. And like, all right, we finna do an encore. But like we're doing the last song and like Roos, my DJ, like he was <laughs> he was moshing, like he was moshing the uh the crowd. And like he tripped over the wire and like he had cut off everything. But it was in the right moment though. <laughs> like the screen cut off, like everything cut off. But it happened at a perfect moment, but nobody knew what happened. And all you could hear was just the audience. Yeah, I just heard the shit. <laughs> so inside, you guys like, oh God. But then outside, everything looked amazing. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if man. I had the fucking picture. Bro, I hope you guys have the video. <laughs> Please send me the video. 
Okay, if send me the video, we are gonna insert that Yo, right that's here. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Holy smokes! That it, man. That is unfortunately fortunate. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that. That would sound so cool. with just ah, the beats going, the music's going, you're you're singing, and all of a sudden that cuts off, and it's just the crowd singing it. That would be perfect. Is but that, that shit shocked everybody though. Like that threw everybody <laughs> off. I was like, that shit really happened. Like <laughs> at least it was an encore. Like it's just one more song, I assume. Yeah. Or at least, at least it wasn't like okay. I had to play it off though. <laughs> I had to play it off. I had to be like, all right, y'all. Just <laughs> that moment on camera too. Where you're like, yeah. all right. Oh man. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's right. With there. that being said, you know what I'm saying? These, yo, these, man. Oh, you know, this this question just comes right off, right off the top of the dome, right off the top. A lot of these questions do, but this one is especially because you're a very fly guy. I know, you know, you have your, you have a clothing line, right? Or you're working I'm on working it. working on it. What's the clothing line called? It's not really a clothing line, but it's like some merch I'm working on for uh, Forever in September. I love that name. Mm -hmm. My I, label. I would, I would love to see like a Forever in September, October's very own collab. Oh, that'd be fine. You know, just in that, just the, the, the months right one after another, but... Yeah. I digress. Um, I was looking at the Chase Shakur HQ Instagram page, and you had these really dope fits. I love that that just that carousel, that slide of all oh, the yeah, fits. Yeah, yeah. What's been your favorite fit so far? If you can remember the fit, um, probably um, New York. It was different. You Actually, know. you know what? Well, Pull out your phone. I bet. All right, so find that post. You got it. Yeah. Okay. I want you to just qu quickly scroll through, and I want you to rank those posts for those. I want you to rank those fits from your favorite, from your least favorite to your favorite. Least favorite to favorite. All right, Matt. Um, Houston. Is it gonna be like a little picture that pop up, or is it like there's a picture right there? Okay. Yeah. So the Houston fit, you know. I had the cowboy boots on, cowboy boots, you know, that's a staple now, so. Okay, okay. Got the spikes on it. That's um, like your least favorite fit? Nah, that's my, I don't even know. You don't got to put it in like order. You got, let me see, you got four fits here. So which, where, where do you put that on the on the top four? I put that like, shit, like, I guess three. Number three, okay. Um, New York, number one. Okay. Um, Boston, I had the static shot, uh, the static was, shot jersey. Yeah, there. that one's crispy. I like that. You're saying that's number two. Okay. So. Dang. So you're saying that Washington D.C. That, that's the fourth, your fourth favorite fit. Yeah. Yeah. What is that right there? You got a, a champion football jersey. No, that's kind of cool. I like the bandana. It's like a off orange. Yeah, I'm saying the capital. That's capital nice. bandana. I can't wait to see what fit you got on tomorrow night. I mean, we might have a picture right there, actually. You know what I'm saying? Real spiffy. <laughs> that was fun. That, that was super fun. I think people are really gonna like that. And man, I like that. I'm I'm not I'm just a pretty like leisure guy, man. I just like to be chilling. But you cool on your neutrals though. Your Pardon ne me? Your neutral colors. Yeah, man. I just you, you know, know just something relaxed. Cozy. Cozy. Thank you, man. Thank you. You said cozy, right? <laughs> cozy, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, the distance between us, sometimes I'm I'm just like, what is he saying? Yeah, I got yeah, my accent too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the full southern drawl just <laughs> drip along the microphone. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. oh man so man back, back to my back to chase's story though i mean all this is a part of the story all this is just what you're going you're mm -hmm. going uh, you're going through right now but you know i was doing i was doing some reading on you as i always always want to do even though we have our friendship i, I want to read i want to watch i want to learn some more about you um so as i was doing some reading and learning like the part of Atlanta you're from, Zone 6 from East Atlanta, that's y'all call it. Mm -hmm. And just seeing that at a time, you know, that region wasn't, was like kind of under the, underserved in the music industry before Gucci, from what I read. Mm. So, and now, you know, you have artists like Black who East Atlanta love that it really reps, really, really reps that region. But what does it feel like for you to now be one of those guys that 
is hold is you know, taking that torch and and bringing it to other lands. Um, it's or fire. Um, you know, I feel like it's part of like a legacy. Um, and I feel like, or I'm proud of my city, even though it's going through a lot of slander right now, but, um, I'm oh, proud to be from there. You yeah. mean with the Keith Lee stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's cooking you guys. I mean, yeah. no pun intended. Everybody's cooking my city, but it's all good though. It's all cool. But I'm proud of, I'm proud to be from East Atlanta. Um, we got amazing artists out of there mm -hmm. and, um. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, or we will give back. So, yeah. What are some artists that people should be looking out for from East Atlanta that are coming up right now? Mm, from East Atlanta? That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't even listen. <laughs> I don't listen like that, to be honest. Um, I'm out the loop. I don't, I'm out the loop when it comes to and like I think I think that's okay. I feel like when you're an artist and you are in the midst of creating mm -hmm. um, and in the midst of touring, you're, you're very tunnel vision. You're very focused on what you have to do. Yeah. It's like a person who's an engineer that's building a building. You you can't be, you know, looking over there and looking over there at, at, at that. You got to be real, focused on your designs, focused on how are you going to be making these, all these things. So I feel like it's okay when you say you're not really tapped in like that. Yeah. Frankly, I don't think you can be that tapped in right now, but that's okay. I'm Nobody's gonna take that the wrong way whatsoever. Y'all yeah. better not take that the wrong way, cause it... but they do got some fire R and B coming out though. Um, I'm just forgetting the names. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm a music curator. Yeah. Like I should know. And there'll be times I'm like, that dude. Uh, y'all like he sings the song, man. You like you guys know the guy, and I'll try to like, yeah, you know. And then if like, I'm, yeah, you know, Jade, Jade from my city. Jade. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. that. Um. Man, woman. Nah, he's man. a um, he's an R and B artist. R and B. I artist. thought you posted about him one day. Jade. Yeah, Jade. Maybe I don't. Know. I, the yeah. name doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, I'll put you on there. Put me on. I'll, I'll put you on. There. Yeah, I, I won't ask you song, but uh, Jade. I'll, yeah. I'll look that up. Sounds a lot like Shade, so it's real easy to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you know, we're on music. <laughs> who are you? Who are you currently listening to right now? Um, a lot of Stevie Wonder. Um, it's been a lot of older music, um, and a lot of like random stuff, like knowledge. Um, knowledge with an X. In the yeah. Name? Okay, I've heard of knowledge. Yeah, he's hard. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I listen to Prince. Mm. Um, yeah, just really digging into crates for real, like hey, that's studying. So you have a vinyl player then? I gotta get one. I gotta get another one. Oh, what yeah, happened? My other one was at my mom's. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got a crib now? Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're not we're not gonna dox you. <laughs> we're gonna go there. I said this ain't Vlad to you. Yeah, it's not Vlad. You know? It ain't Vlad. That should be that. No, man, I'm, I'm gonna be wildin' if I say that. I'm gonna be wildin' if I say that. So, uh, who do you wanna, what's some artists that you would love to collab with? Mm, um, I like Lucky. Um, the rapper. Um, oh, I, I nodded my head like I knew. I thought you meant Lucky Day. I was like, yeah, Lucky. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I never yeah, no, Lucky, lucky, lucky the rapper. Um, Maybe I do know Lucky. What's yeah. what's one of Lucky's uh, songs that you, you're vibing with right now? Um, I like At Night. It's an older song of his. I like White House. I like... I like... Whole world slat, you know. Those are artists those are or songs? songs. No, nah, those are yeah, that's his song. Those are his songs. Yeah. Uh, who else are you listening to right now? Uh Allo FM. Um this R and B artist from uh DC, uh Serena. Serena. Yeah, Serena. Um uh Nobu Woods. Nobu's on Forever on uh Forever September? Nah. Or Allo FM is. Allo, yeah. Oh, okay. And um, Dustin Laurel. Say he's that again? Dustin Laurel. Dustin Laurel. Yeah. He's okay. a rapper from Atlanta. You just put me on. I, I yeah. never heard of that individual before. I'm going to have to check him out. And yeah, no, he's hard. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. What, what kind of, what's the sound like? Are they um, a sound that's similar to your own, like dark? Not a different. Um, Dustin is a rapper. 
Um, and like, yeah, the artists I mentioned, yeah, they have like a different sound, you know. Because even you, you've been experimenting with a different sound right now. Yeah. Because I love Nights. Night, nah, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, I was playing in the car on the way here and just like, in my, in my boy Schwa, engineer, he was saying like, he he, he thought um, he was going to get like, like a trap, you know, drums start to come in on the hook. Yeah. And then when you just get like that house beat, like this you were doing something completely different that's like out of left field. I really liked that. And it like really showed a lot of growth to me. Thank how, you. How did you feel making that song? Were you... Were you worried at all? Like this is a little different, or um, or do you worry at all about those types of things? I don't really worry about those. Um, <clears throat> I trust, I trust uh, my taste, and I trust my boy's taste. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't too fond of it when we first made it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's slowly grew on me, I guess. Like as I perform it, type type shit. So. I had an interview with another artist and he mentioned kind of like a similar thing mm -hmm. uh, where he, there were certain songs of his where he was not a fan of, but other people said they loved it so much that he threw it on a project. Is that, has that been something that is, you know, been, that's happened a lot with you over your, over your years where like, there's a song where you're just like, eh, but then other people hear it and they love it so much. You're like, I'm going to do that for, I'm going to do that for y'all. Um, if I remember correctly, like that's probably the first time I did something like that. Wow. Yeah. I usually be like, hell nah. But I mean um, it turned out well. Yeah. <laughs> and the music videos are yeah. fine. Thank you. No problem. Man, speaking of your music videos, you're very um intentional with the scenes and like the cuts and and it's really cinematic. Um this is actually like a two-fold question. Um First question I'm gonna ask you: um, When we, when you, me and you, going back to the past, but when me and you first, you know, connected, and you, you reached out to me one time, and you're like, "Hey, this is like, um, these are my thoughts right now," and I'm, I'm feeling like I really want to be, I really want to be different with my voice and with my both my voice ver verbally and with my voice visually. Do you feel like you've grown into? that artist you want to be in both of those mediums now? Yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, it's still a lot of work I got to do. Um, a lot of hours I got to put in mm -hmm. still. Um, but as far as like my videos and, um, and my music growth, um, I'm proud of it. And I'm blessed that I'm able to have a vision and execute it the way we do it mm -hmm. this is different and I don't think anyone can do it the way we do it so never I, I never yeah. think there's anybody yeah. you me the people on the other side of the room I think as long as people like lock into who they are and then just let that come out in whatever pause the whole thing on the play man <laughs> pause yeah. the whole thing bro let them do it let it go man y'all ain't, ain't hearing me man I'm just joking yeah, around I'm just playing around but anyway, I thought I could get another pause joke off, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the people that just now starting to be like, oh, I see what you're trying to say. But anyway, back to what I was saying before I had my little immature joke there. I feel like whenever somebody just like lets themselves be who they are, no matter what it is they do, like there's nobody that can do it just like you. So mm. yeah, I, agree, I agree with you completely. But the other side to that question um, was, are you a movie fan? And like, if so, what are your favorite films? Um, I haven't really seen like a lot of movies for real. Um, <clears throat> I'm just getting into mu into movies. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm just getting into like studying them. Yeah, I guess I'm working on this album. Um, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, Quentin Tarantino's Quentin Tarantino movies. Just me following life stories, or studying how stories are like written. Okay, and like um. Like how it's captured, mm -hmm. type. So I, I'm studying the movies. Yeah, I'm learning Quentin how to Tarantino. Watch he's um, I don't know a lot of his films. I've seen some of them. He's Quentin Tarantino is kind of like one of those guys who's like Seinfeld, where like it feels like just like real life, like off the cuff things, and then the the story all comes together in the end. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah a lot of people cite Quentin Tarantino as like a major influence. Uh, 
That's really dope. I'm intrigued to see where you're going with another project. Yeah. So, you know, since you, 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 you've kind of reached that point, you, you're speaking on another project, you know, where do you see yourself going in five years? Where do you see, where do you, where does Chase Shakur see himself? Um, really just taking, taking over, um, just putting the best art that I could put out, um, out into the world, um, being able to give back to my community, um, making an impact on like my youth and the people that's coming next, you know, um, yeah, just me putting out the best possible art. And like a very high volume. That's what I think. Oh, a lot of art. Yeah. Okay. Quality. Quality. A mm-hmm. lot of it and quality. Yeah. Okay. I love that. Oh, I want to ask you, I have a question that probably a little bit invasive into that next piece of art, but I'm not going to ask you about that. So <laughs> five years, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, Doing that still and going into other mediums. Of art, mm. so yeah. Zon, it was a song. What did you say? I can't remember the exact song, but the quote was, uh, "Give you heaven in your thirties, baby. I don't mind." Oh yeah, yeah. So, and you're how old are you right now? I'm twenty four. Twenty four. So six years you plan to settle down, have kids, and all that. Yeah. You mm-hmm. guys have it. So, ladies, while he's on tour right now, shoot your shots. <laughs> anyway, cheers, man. I appreciate the interview, my guy. We can dap it up now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for my gifts.